Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, it's Nitro Kyosho. Today what I'm going to be discussing is some flight tips for some newbies getting into this size helicopter, uh, which is a cyclic pitched helicopter. Okay, this is a 450 size, um, or if you're getting into like a Blade 400 size. Okay, so let's get started. All right. Now you're going from a fixed pitch, and hopefully that you're ready to fly this kind of a helicopter. The first thing that you have to do is you have to master hovering, okay? Guys get frustrated with hovering because they say hovering isn't flying, but if you can't hover this thing, you can't fly it, guys. Most people that buy these, okay, they're going to go right out into a field with it, they're going to fire it up, it's going to go every which way and smash. And most chances are they're going to throw it in a box, give up on the hobby, and the box is going to end up at a tag sale or in the back of their garage. Okay? If you listen to me and you've watched some of my previous videos and you've gone from a coaxial to a fixed pitch, you should be ready to tackle this, guys, okay? So, number one first thing, learn how to hover this, okay? And when you're learning how to fly one of these, don't have a crowd around, don't have people around, don't go to a park, don't, don't be around people. These things are very uh, volatile, very dangerous guys, okay? They move very quickly. You can get seriously, seriously injured with these helicopters. These blades are razor sharp at the ends, okay? They can hit somebody, they, they can slice somebody's throat and kill them, they can take their eyes out, uh, you know, they can break an, a leg or an, an arm. You do not want kids around these things, you know? Accidents happen, mechanical failures, these things can go out of control, they can lose uh, tail, tail rotor blades, they can lose main blades, uh, servos go out on them, okay? So be safe, guys. That's, that's the number one thing, too, to, to learn hovering and to be safe. You do not want small children around these things. You do not want animals like a dog that's going to go lunging after you or it, or cats. Okay, and you don't want to be in a park with people wandering up behind you and saying, geez, what are you doing? How do you do that? Okay, you got to concentrate, guys. You're not, you're not going to be at a level where you can... I know guys that are at pro levels, and they don't want to be bothered. They backhand you if you came up and started trying to hold a conversation with them, okay? These, these things, you need to concentrate, okay? Now, learn how to hover this thing, okay, with the tail facing you like this. Make sure it's about 5 or 10 feet away from you when you're doing it. If you choose to be in an enclosed area... Uh, to learn how to fly these, uh, I would recommend wearing safety glasses, okay? And not having anybody around. <clears throat> Alright? Now, mastering the hover is what's going to master you to fly this thing along with using a simulator. You want the tail facing you and you want a nice hover. You don't want this thing flopping and fluttering all over. Once you can get a nice steady hovering going, okay, then the next thing that you want to do is you want to start hovering it on the sides of you, okay, like this. You can stand with the controls straight out, and you can look at this thing out of the corner of your eye like this, okay, and that's, and you're going to start learning how to get it from different angles. When you can master that side, obviously you're going to go and start learning the other side. Once you can get those kind of hovers down, it's time to start walking around with this thing. Follow it around, steer it like it's a car, get a good feel for it, okay? Once you have a good feel for it like that, where you can start walking behind it and you know which way is which. When you're learning how to fly these guys, you never want this thing to turn around and face you, because you're going to panic. When this thing turns around and faces you, okay, all your controls are going to be reversed. When you go to the right, it's going to go to the left. When you go to the left, it's going to go to the right. Forwards is backwards, backwards is forwards. It will get out of control on you very quickly. When I learned, I never wasted my time with a forward hover. That will come to you once you're out in a field and you're flying and it's coming to you. And it just comes naturally and now you're hovering it in front of you. So don't worry about a forward hover. 
People place emphasis on that like you're a god if you learn how to do that, okay? It's an utmost waste of time when you're learning. That comes to you 100% naturally once you know how to fly in a field, okay? There's no great thing to having this thing hovering and you facing you nose in. It doesn't make you any better than anybody else, okay? I never wasted my time doing that, and I can do a beautiful nose and hover now just from flying in a field. It came naturally. So don't waste your time with that garbage, okay? Now, once you got a, a side hover going on the right and a side hover going on the left, and you followed this thing around, now it's time to start getting it a little further away from you, okay? First five feet, then ten feet. Bring it back in tail in okay once you can start getting it out a little further that's what's going to start making you a better pilot you're going to be nervous at first so you know hover it from five feet away from you hover it from 10 feet hover it from 15 okay and then bring it back in slowly remember the controls slowly guys you start slam or slamming these around and ripping this thing in full board and reverse and slamming it you're going to have problems okay Take it easy on the controls. No slamming the sticks around. When you're moving those sticks, somebody watching you should say you barely look like you're moving your fingers, okay? Now, once you can do that, the next step, okay, is what I call a lazy man's coordinated turn, okay? A coordinated turn, a regular one, you're going to be using a combination of rudder and aileron, two different sticks. When you come into the turn, it's going to be like this, okay? And you're going to come around and straighten out. That is a coordinated turn, okay? Once again, a coordinated turn comes in like this, okay? And turns like that, okay? Most people that try it for the first time end up flopping it over and burying it in the ground, okay? It has to be a smooth combination of both sticks to get a coordinated turn, guys. Okay, so it comes like that. That is one of your keys to learning how to fly. What I recommend doing, and what I did when I learned, is what you can do is have the helicopter going straight like this. Okay, start learning how to fly it sideways. But when you're going to go into a coordinated turn, don't do it. Stop at the end like this okay don't give it no rudder aileron slide the helicopter back sideways with aileron and slowly turn it straight okay and then do the same vice versa at each side that's called a lazy man's coordinated turn that's the terminology I use or you can say it's a slide turn so once again don't go in as a coordinated yet Come in, when you start to get the helicopter like this to turn, give it your aileron and start sliding the helicopter back. And then just slowly ease back in going straight. Generally that's the way you're going to learn how to fly. And with the combination of a simulator, which I strongly recommend. But, you know, once you do your tail in, okay, your side hovers, the next thing you want to do is to start flying this thing back and forth in front of you like this, okay? You can also, uh, if it helps you, you can turn your body when you're using the controller with the helicopter, feel the way that it's turning. If you always have your antenna, the antenna uh, on your controller pointed to the back of this thing, the controls are always going to be as you know them, okay? When it starts going this way and this way and that way, the controls now you have to have it in your head which way, which go, you know, which way this thing is going to turn. So if you're going this way, flying it, you know, down straight, point your control the, the antenna that way. As it turns, turn with it. You know, it may sound foolish, guys, but it will help you. Okay, and that is basically the beginning stages of learning. Okay, remember. If you can hover this thing three inches off the ground, you're going to hover it 30 feet off the ground and 300 feet off the ground. God, if you could see that high, God bless you, <laughs> okay? But learning a hover is what is going to teach you how to control this. Don't try to bypass this 
don't buy these things and go running out in the field with your buddy because it's going to end in disaster. And get yourself a simulator, okay, and uh, you're going to have a good time with these and not a frustrating time. All right, and remember, be safe, guys. These things are very dangerous. These are not air hogs. These are not toys. I'm not trying to scare anybody out there, but these things can be very dangerous. This is a 450 size, which moves very quickly. Now, as you go up in sizes to 500s, to 600s, to 700s, the motors get more powerful, the blades get bigger, everything is heavier, the shafts are thicker, okay, and you're going to do more damage. If you hit somebody with one of those, they're dead, okay? So be safe. Don't go around people. Don't bring your buddy with you because your buddy's going to antagonize you like I see on a lot of YouTube videos. Come on, do it, do it, and smash, okay? And he doesn't care because it's not his and he didn't pay for it and he's going to laugh at you after. So be safe. Practice by yourself, okay? Get yourself a simulator. And if you practice hovering, get that down, like I said, then the left, the right hovering, the uh, sideways flight, okay, the lazy man sliding turns, you're going to have a good time in the sabi, and you're going to be on your way to learning, okay. So please listen to me what I'm telling you. It's from experience. And uh, not to beat a dead horse, but once again, don't bring your kids with you. Don't have any pets around. And stay out of, out, out of places that people are going to be hindering you and asking you questions and bothering you. Because when you're learning how to do this, you can't sit there explaining to the guy where you bought this thing, uh, how hard it is. He, he doesn't know how hard this is to fly. It's just, you gotta, it's just a curious guy walking up you know, behind you asking you a question. Okay? And they don't understand how difficult one of these things is to fly and to learn how to fly. Okay, so practice, practice, practice. Uh, really practice the hovering guys that is what's going to make you a master at this helicopter and uh, like I said forget about forward fl forward hovering you know nose in hovering that's going to come to you naturally and uh, you know go from there uh, other than that just some general uh, flight tips other than that maintenance uh, these things do require maintenance guys so make sure you you know you do your pre-flight checks uh, make sure your battery is fully charged. Uh, make sure your connectors are good. Uh, make sure that do a, a test on the ground before you bring it up. Make sure, you know, put your uh, uh, safety on so this thing doesn't take off on you. Uh, your, you know, your basically your throttle hold, uh, what they call it on some, you know. And uh, make sure all your cyclics are moving properly. Make sure all your nuts and bolts are tight. Uh, double and triple check everything before each flight. Uh, make sure your bear, ball bearings, you make sure those are lubed up and everything is good. Uh, your connections are good. And, but most of all, always do a test of your cyclics, okay, your three cyclic servos on the ground. And make sure everything is working before you pop this thing up in the air. And I think that you'll have a very fun and not a frustrating time in this hobby. Okay. My name is Ray. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. And I thank you for watching. I wish everybody out there happy flying and most of all safe flying. Thanks for watching.